I. So I sent off the last video on three-part breathing. And so you just got familiar with the, the, mo the full movement of the breath in the body. And feel it in the belly and the movement of the ribs and then all the way up into the heart. This is just a wonderful approach as a centering, check-in breath um, before class, before active engagement of the breath especially in beginner's classes. And then when you start moving uh, through vinyasa, through the warm-ups and through salutations and the more active poses flowing with the breath, that's when we want to introduce ujjayi, pranayama, and the awareness of these internal locks called the bandhas. And so I'll take you through a, a nice approach here as we, as we familiarize ourselves with ujjayi pranayama. So the word ujjayi means victorious breath um, as its literal translation. And it's our triumphant breath is another, um, another description. And it means uh, to have victory uh, over um, the, the, the movement, the engagement, the tone of the body, the connection of the body, as well as um, the sound that's created. Uh, the frictive sound, the soft sort of oceanic sound, whisper-like sound from the throat provides us with this steady focus uh, in our practice that allows us to be triumphant over the rittis or the fluctuations of the mind. It helps to steady and calm and yoke your mind to the present through your movement. Um, so ujjayi pranayam. Here's how I would set people up. So you're going to get yourself a nice seat. You, you might lift yourself up a little bit higher on a blanket or a block. And I think, as I've mentioned before, if the knees are up higher like this around your hips, your lower back is going to be rounded and it will fatigue very quickly. And so the hips get up higher and you just sort of scan around and notice if anyone needs a little support here or there and offer them that support. Okay, So the knees can release down. And the natural curve of your lower back is present as your pelvic bowl comes more parallel to the floor. One way that you can test that or feel for that within your own body is that there's like a triangular shape to the pelvic floor. You've got the front corner of the pubic bone, the pubis, and then the two sitting bones. And between is the pelvic floor. It's kind of like a, um, just like this web of... Um, uh, tissue that that now is more parallel to the ground rather than tipping forward or leaning or rolling back you've got the pelvic floor parallel to the earth which provides for the maximum grounding and rooting effect for the nervous system for your whole inner inner body it supports what's called apanavayu which is the downward flow of release of connectivity of just the release um, uh, in, in the body that has to happen. And so um, setting yourself up, I would just have, have our, why don't we just place our hands to your lap and just close your, your eyes for a little bit here. And so again, just watching the natural movement of your breath in the body. And if you need to adjust the familiar adjustment here, it would be to kind of turn your femur bones inward a little bit, just create a little bit more space and openness in the floor of the pelvis. This is kind of like inner spiral, right? You're dialing your thigh bones in real deep, okay? And then from this place, we start to engage the internal lock. So banda means lock or valve. And the very first lock is just this little bit of a tone right there in the pelvic floor. Sometimes you can present it, I think what I say usually is, um, you know, as if you just drank a couple gallons of water and you're waiting in a big line. It's that, just that little lift there, not a squeeze, but just, a, just that support, okay? So this is the root lock, the mula, M-U-L-A is the mula, like muladhara or the mula bandha is the, the root valve, and it just prevents the energy from just like spilling. It actually sort of creates this trampoline effect, sort of a rebounding effect, 
uh, for the kundalini shakti, for the energy to kind of squeeze and move up your spine, like cultivate that energy. So the tone of your pelvic floor supports your lower back. It lengthens your tailbone and it brings the energy up from the core of your pelvis upward. Okay, so that's the first block, mula, mula banda. And then the second one is right here, very low from the pubic bone up toward the navel. There's like a squeeze and a lift. And as you squeeze there, this is the second banda, Uj, uh, udiana, U D Y. Uh, U, U, D, D, U, Y, U, D, Y. I haven't spelled it in a little while. I have to look at that. Udiana. It means a flying up of the ribs. So this support, this deep support in your low belly lifts and expands your ribs open. Okay, so you hold Mula, Udiana, Banda, and the energy gets squeezed like a tube of toothpaste, just kind of squeezes all the way up. Your chest lifts and expands. And then the last bandha is the Jalandhara bandha. So the chin tucks, not just tucks a little, but actually the, the throat moves back as well. Very harmonious with the shoulder loop and all these things we'll be talking about before, but it's the chin tucking as opposed to this. That just, the whole core just kind of loosens out. Pelvic floor, low belly, squeezing the energy up, tucking your chin, drawing your throat back. And then just allowing your hands to rest on your lap. This inner awareness of these locks supports your spine. And then breathe in through your nose. We're going to have, we're going to practice ourselves like this just by opening your mouth. We're toning the glottis of the throat, letting the breath just escape through the mouth as if you were to fog a mirror. It's that same thing. Purpose is to control the volume equally from the top of the exhalation all the way to the bottom. Try it again, just inhaling through the nose, opening your mouth, exhaling long, slow, exhale. Same equal volume of breath. This is such a relaxing breath, especially just on your exhalations. When you focus on the exhalation, this increases that downward flow of settling, of cooling, of relaxing. Okay, so you just want to settle them into a nice and easy at first. Bring yourself into it nice and easy, okay? And then once you've got that down, really lengthening that exhalation, noticing how you can engage with it. You, This is what you do have control of. You can participate in this way. Then try to close your mouth lightly and make the same sound as you inhale through your nose. Pull it across your throat so it's... Feel the pause at the top of the breath. And then keeping this nice inner lift, exhale. Feel the pause at the end. And then inhale again. Low belly stays toned. So when you inhale, the breath will move mostly into your ribs, maybe the top part of the belly, but this part stays toned. That's what's going to support you as you move through the, the movements of the, of the salutation and vinyasa as well. So the low belly stays toned with the bandhas, breathing in and out through your nose, making that soft sound coming from the throat. Okay, Equal volume from the bottom of the breath to the top of the breath, stillness at the pause, kumbhaka. And then equal volume from the top of the breath all the way down. Stillness, again, at the bottom. These pauses are really important. Um, and our next, our next uh, exploration will be how to take this ujjayi breath into the movement of your salutation. So try this for a while. And, and then just resume a natural rhythm to your breath and notice its effect, ujjayi. Okay, so this is a very empowering, energizing breath. It creates a frictive heat, an internal tapas, which is not only your own itcha or will and desire of your intention that creates heat, but also literally it's like rubbing two things together, it builds the frictive heat um, so that all the prana can circulate more um, efficiently and powerfully through your body. Okay, so we've got spinal support, internal heat, focus and concentration, um, and it actually helps you to recruit and engage such as uh, your source of strength um, 
with moving through challenging postures or challenging life situations as well. You can just yoke and hold right to that connection of the breath and center yourself. Okay, so this is Ujjayi Pranayam. You can turn me right off and practice on your own, feeling that, uh, feeling that movement and engagement here. Uh, so I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.